heard some interesting news. <coughs> Hear some sirens. <coughs> So here's some interesting news uh, from a YouTube channel I watch called Sidetrack. Uh, they do a lot of rumors concerning sci-fi shows, it seems like. Um, they drop a bunch of stuff about Stargate, which I'd love to see a continuation of that series. You know, where is everybody now and whatnot. But they said something about a possible shared TV universe for Airwolf, Knight Rider, A-Team, uh, with special guest, guest appearances from the, uh, I guess, financially uh, updated $6 million man because of uh, inflation to the $6 billion man, which makes me just think of Inspector Gadgets with all... <laughs> little <clears throat> doodads and stuff that he could do. Always had the had the right tool to <clears throat> take care of a problem, but never really was able to use it properly. Thank goodness for the dog and penny. <clears throat> but Airwolf, Knight Rider, together? I mean, I think that would be pretty darn cool. Thanks for parking right where I'm supposed to pull out, dummy. <clears throat> I'm not an angry driver. She's in the half of the other lane while she's turning. But how, what, what is everyone's thoughts on that? Just think about it. Particularly Knight Rider and Airwolf. I think those two would work really well together. you got two government agencies that on, on occasion have to work together. And I mean, think about it. Kit and Airwolf, you know, by land and by air. I mean, that's pretty cool. And the A-Team, I mean, <laughs> there's unfortunately always some war that they could have had done something that they got guilty, got charged with, even though, you know, they were innocent. So you think about it, you could make BA's van was made by the Knight Foundation, or, uh, dang, I forget the, what, what was the foundation called in Airwolf? I have to break out the DVDs. Man, I can't remember what the name of it is. I want to say like White something or other. That might have been the uh, one-eyed agent that always worked with Stringfellow. But I think that's a pretty cool idea. Because you you'd have the three individual shows, guest appearances from the $6 billion man here and there. Well, apparently there's a movie in the works with that. So, cool there. But, you know, so you have A-Team, Knight Rider, Airwolf, individual shows, and once in a while there's a crossover. The only thing I don't like about the crossover stuff between TV shows is if you buy uh, you buy the episode by the season of Airwolf, well, you don't get the entire part or pieces, all the pieces for that, unless you buy the other show. And then not only that, you have to, you know, it's not like it's just the next episode that you watch. You have to go to the other show, find that episode, and then watch it, which can be annoying. You know, first world problems, but. It's, a, it's an irritant. But, you know, just think of how fancy a new kid could look. I know they did Knight Rider. Oof. When was that, when was that Knight Rider redo? Which, <clears throat> towards the end of that, it actually seemed like it was getting good. It was, it was starting to find its footing, and the writing was getting better. Characters were getting a little bit more developed. I think that would be pretty cool. Airwolf, oh my gosh, what you can do with Airwolf. But I mean, 
like if Knight Rider did a ripoff of Viper, and then all of a sudden, which is what they kind of did in the new new show, because it changed back and forth between you know a truck and all the other things. So, well, you could just make make them the same vehicle, and then, you know, Kit could become a helicopter when needed, and or a boat, <laughs> which would be a little bit too much, I think. But I think, you know, there's a lot of possibilities there. Uh, but Viper's a Viper's a show that I've had the series in my Amazon wish list for a while. I just gotta just keep a better eye on it for when the price drops. What what would you guys think about that? I mean yeah, the kit, the copter, and then on occasion BA's van for the A team. I, mean, I guess you bring in the A team when, you know, two people and two vehicles aren't enough. You know, you'd have your superhero crossover I guess it would be the super vehicle crossovers with the uh, some extra people I think that would be pretty neat I think there's a lot of possibility there but <clears throat> having three simultaneous TV shows that are interacting with each other even if they're only doing once or twice a year I mean they tried that with the DC TV universe, and I don't know, the writing with the, that just got bad, I just stopped watching all of them, it seemed to start off strong, and then just brrr, Peter, which is what happens with a lot of TV shows, shit with a lot of movie series too, every other one is good, the rest of them are meh, or just, just bad, just bad. And if there was only one of those TV shows, which one would you want it to be? I'd have a hard time choosing between Airwolf and Knight Rider. I really like Airwolf, really like Knight Rider. But if you have a transforming vehicle, then you've got it there. Although, you know what was one TV show that was pretty cool that didn't last long? The Highwayman. He had... The cab was a helicopter, and so the the trailer could open up and he could change a couple things around inside the cab, and it was a helicopter and he could just take off and go. There was another one that just had a, like a, a weird little flat car was the cab, and that could take off from the trailer. Yeah. Had the guy who played Flash Gordon. I thought I really liked that show too. I thought it was pretty cool. I like the sci-fi techie shows. Imagine that. But okay. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what what of those, if you could only choose one of them, what would it be? I think I'd have to go with Knight Rider. Although Knight Rider's had a chance, so maybe may, Alright, I'm gonna go with Airwolf. We'll do Airwolf. Yeah, we'll go with Airwolf. Air, and, and a copter can change to a jet or something. <laughs> Which would kind of destroy the whole premise of, you know, the helicopter, but... I don't know. What are you going to do? What do y'all think? That could be... It would be cool. I think it would be super difficult to actually pull off with three shows. But again, it depends on how, I guess, how tightly they try to actually keep them together. Or if, like, <clears throat> A-Team's in California, Night Riders somewhere else, Airwolf is off in the desert in Nevada. We'll put... Well, the A-Team moved around it, too, so they could be just anywhere. So California, do something in the mid Midwest, or maybe the East Coast. For Airwolf... Yeah, what are your all thoughts? I'd like to know. Because those are great shows. I think they still hold up pretty well. Although the last seasons of Airwolf and Knight Rider got kind of iffy. Super Pursuit mode was just like, what? Like, I think it went off the air 
in our area before that season hit. And so, how old I was? I was probably in my 20s when I saw Super Pursuit. I was just like, what is this? The car can go super fast already, so, but we've got to make it so we can go faster. But I don't know. But hope everyone's having a good day. Enjoying the cooling weather. It's been great here. No plans to cut the grass because the grass is growing slowly. Not too many leaves on the ground yet. But yeah. Everyone take care, have fun, be kind of one another, stay safe, keep it retro, God bless, and we will catch you all later.